Man, these swings are hot. Nine-year-olds Mia and Ariana recently met in class, but they're already inseparable and learning the meaning of true friendship. It makes me feel like I can trust someone. Last week, Ariana told Mia a big secret. One day, she just told me she was homeless. A secret Mia couldn't keep, but she wanted to help. She immediately went home and told her family. I didn't want her to go without a house. What do you think we're going to have for lunch? While they hung out at school, Mia didn't know where her friend was living, but she knew she wanted to help. She and her aunt spent two days looking for her and found her at a park. It's not like she was on the side asking for help. I just, how could I say, no, Mia, I'm not going to help your friend. There's no way. So we're trying to come up with anything we can to get them in their forever home. They started this GoFundMe page, and in the past two days, it's already raised nearly $3,000. Nobody ever thinks they're going to be in this situation. Ariana's mom, Kim, lost her job a year ago and says when unemployment ran out, they had nowhere to go. The shelter they were staying at will only take families for 30 days, so they're forced to use the little money they have to stay in a motel. It's tough. Well, we, we're used to staying in the same room. We don't need much. I'm just hoping that we raise enough money so we can actually find a home and, like, pay the rent and power bill and everything like that. A lot for a fourth grader to think about, but she and her mom have the support of new friends working together to turn their situation around. I'm speechless with that because it's like their family is really, really nice, and I'm, I'm happy. In addition to the GoFundMe page, Mia's family is having a car wash at a church in Spring Hill tomorrow. For more information about how you can help, go to our website, abcactionnews.com. In Brooksville, Sarah Rosario for the Now Tampa Bay.